Hey guys, it's Arika Misha, and y'all know what time it is. Y'all see what I'm cooking? It's breakfast time. I got some bagels over here, some Thomas bagels. These are the plain bagels. I like the cinnamon bagels that my girls be tripping, so most of the time I get plain. Sometimes I get cinnamon because that's what I want. Sometimes I just get both, cinnamon for me and plain for them. Anyway, y'all. Um, I got some medium eggs. Uh, I got some Publix cheddar jack. Uh, shredded cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese and I got the public center cut bacon and yeah that's it y'all a simple breakfast it don't take much you know we're gonna have some bacon eggs and bagel It'll be like a bacon egg bagel sandwich or whatever you want to do you could just toast the bagel on the side of your bacon and your eggs however you want to do it me I'm gonna make a sandwich I don't know I might have it on the side y'all anyway let's get into this y'all this is Arika Misha thank y'all so much for clicking on this video Let's get into this quick breakfast because I'm ready to get in and out of this kitchen. All right, so let's get our bacon. As y'all can see, I've got my pan already with my aluminum foil across the top to make my cleanup easy in and out the kitchen. So let's go ahead and get this bacon all laid out. I got my oven preheating over there to 350 degrees. Takes a bacon, my bacon usually about 10, 15 minutes to cook. It don't take that long, about 15 minutes. So. Let's go ahead and get this uh, bacon together. Get my bacon out. I'm ready to eat too. I woke up hungry. Let me move this out of the way. Like I said, I woke up hungry. And this is plenty of bacon to fill this up. Go ahead and get this bacon laid out. Let's see which way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it the long way. So everybody can fix. And your bacon, I usually crowd my bacon. You can crowd it, cause you know once this bacon starts shrinking, let me move this out the way. Once your bacon starts shrinking, child, you have plenty of room, so. I'm just gonna lay this out. We just gonna lay this down real quick. We ain't got all day. Let's just lay this down, child. How y'all doing out there? I hope all is well. I always say that because I really do mean that. I hope all is well. I don't know when I'm gonna schedule this video. Um, but, cause y'all know my schedule be everywhere. That's how I have to do it. Cause I work full time. I work full time and I YouTube full time. So it's a lot of work, but you gotta put that work in. And that's what I'm doing. Put that work in. Hey, sometimes you gotta put in a lot, well most of the time you gotta put in a lot of work. So you got a vision, you got a dream, you got a goal. Don't have to work hard. Get this bacon laid out. Just kind of squeeze it in there. It ain't that serious. Y'all know the bacon gonna shrink up and cook up anyway. All right, so let's get everybody all laid down, child. So when our timer go off, we can go ahead and put this bacon in the oven. Let me wash my hands real quick. Ooh, child. Hands smell like fresh bacon. Mm, 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 mm. Fresh bacon. That's what my hands smell like. Fresh early bacon. All right, so we got the bacon already, already. So when our timer go off over there on our stove, we're going to go ahead and get that in the stove. Let's go ahead and get our eggs all whipped up. I got to get my milk. What? Got to get the milk. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me get the milk. All right, okay, got my milk. Okay, let's get these eggs in here. And usually when I cook the um, eggs, I cook the whole thing of eggs. So we have extra eggs, so the girls can, you know, have something to eat through the week for school, instead of always waking up in the morning, eating a bowl of cold cereal. I like, you know, for the girls to have hot options too. Hot, quick options, let me make that clear. Quick options, like if it's warming up leftover breakfast, you know, 
like like the breakfast I'm cooking now, you know, warming up leftover breakfast, um, a bagel, toast. Uh, I like getting them those toaster strudels, waffles, you know, something like that. Something that's quick. Because y'all already know how it is in the morning trying to get these kids up and get yourself out to work and get these kids to school and stuff. So, nobody got time for no all day. So, but like I said, I do like for them to have a hot breakfast in the morning and not always eating a bowl of cold cereal. So, but you know, don't get me wrong. We all know kids like cereal too. So, but I like for them to have a nice hot breakfast in the belly. Oh, no, that eggshell did not. Okay, see, this is what I be talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Chasing eggshells. Too early in the morning. I ain't got time for this. Now. Come on here, shell. Okay. Anyway, you all. So, my timer on the stove should be going off real quick. Should be going off any minute. We're going to go ahead and get this. Bacon in the oven, cracking all my eggs, getting my eggs in here. And y'all, let's talk about these eggs. We gotta talk about these eggs now. How about for these medium, I think that's what it is. Yep, medium right there, y'all see it, medium. For these medium sized eggs, um, I usually get these for about, about $2.46. Let's just say $2.50, whatever. That's what I usually pay for these eggs. Tell me why these eggs, why are these eggs six dollars? Tell me why. The devil is a lie. Let me wash my hands. Hey babe. Y'all better pay attention. The eggs six dollars. Now, when I went to Walmart, they they eggs I went up too. Walmart prices I went up too. Publix prices, everybody, everybody prices I went up. So let's keep it real now. Everybody prices I'm going up. Not just Publix, not just Walmart, everybody, all these, everybody. I go to all those stores. I may not record everything when I go everywhere because I ain't got time for that. So, anyway, and I don't need y'all in my business like that. <laughs> I show y'all what I want to show y'all. Anyway, um, yeah, so, chai, boo. So, anyway, let's get back to this breakfast. Putting a little salt in there. I don't do too much salt. I do a little bit. Want my eggs to have some flavor. Now see, if I was just cooking these eggs for me, child, be done put some, a uh, little bit of Old Bay in there, cause y'all know what I say, Old Bay in there, cause he a Old Bay. <laughs> I be done put some Old Bay in there, onion, garlic, all that in there. Y'all like to season my eggs up. But you know, my girls don't like all that. So, I sneak a little onion, garlic in there sometimes on them. But I do a little salt, a little pepper. Y'all know how it is cooking for these kids. So, anyway. Got all my eggs in there. Get my milk in there. And I just put enough milk. Let me see if I can show y'all. I just, yeah, see that? I just put enough milk in there. And y'all know how milk does. It's gonna start spreading. So I just put enough milk in there. Y'all done seen me cook my eggs a million times. But if this is your first time here, hey, I am Arika Misha. Hey, girl, hey, hey, boy, hey. So yeah, I put milk in my eggs. That helps them be nice and le fluffy. Le fluffy eggs. That means eggs that are fluffy in French. I don't really know that y'all. I don't think that's French for real. I just be, I just be playing around y'all. I don't speak French now. Cause some of y'all be in the comments. I don't speak French. I'm sorry. I don't. I just be playing around. Okay, bye. <laughs> y'all know y'all gonna hear my le French. Y'all gonna hear that sometimes. And y'all gonna hear my New York accent sometimes? Yes. Yes. Y'all gonna hear it. Child, please. I got all kind of languages. All right, so we got our eggs sauce, scrambled up child, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so look, we got everything ready already. So, we got the bacon, I'm gonna go put that in the oven, y'all. Eggs, I'm gonna go ahead and scramble that. Y'all done seen me scramble the eggs a million times. Uh, yeah. The bagels, we're going to just toast those. So, you know what? I'm going to come back. Next thing, I'm going to come back to showing y'all me putting the breakfast sandwich together. Because I think I'm going to go ahead and have a breakfast sandwich. Like my bagel with some eggs, some cheese, some bacon on. That sound real good this morning. And y'all know what? Let me give y'all a little secret. Sometimes I put a little jelly on my um, bagel. So, it kind of gives it like a little sweet, salty taste. I do that sometimes. 
I ain't doing that today. I don't feel like it today, but all right, y'all. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys me cooking my eggs because if you're new to my channel, you've probably never seen me cook my eggs. So I will go ahead and show you how I cook the fluffy eggs. Le fluffy eggs. As you can see, I already put the le butter in the frying pan and I let the butter melt. And as soon as the le butter started sizzling, I pour in the eggs. And don't forget your leche. Is that milk? I think that's Spanish. Whatever. Don't forget your milk and your eggs. Getting my languages mixed up. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So. I have my eggs on a medium heat. You do not, remember I always tell you, you do not need to cook your eggs on high heat. They don't need all that girl, they don't need all that. So, all right. And I use my little $1.25 tree spatula. Y'all know I love my little spatula. And I just use it and I just kinda fold my eggs around. I don't scramble. I don't like the scramble. I don't like how they look when they all scramble. They look all broken up and mm mm. I like to just kind of fold them around. Fold the little fluffy eggs around. And they turn out so pretty and so fluffy. Just look real nice and pretty to me. Made me want to eat them right now. Well, not right now. They ain't done right now, but. Yep. I like cooking my eggs like this. We got that bacon in the oven. That bacon gonna be done in about 15, 20 minutes in no time. Do y'all flip y'all bacon? I don't, I don't really flip my bacon. I just let the bacon cook. Just put it in there, child. Let it cook. It'll cook on both sides. Some people flip their bacon. I don't flip mine. Just put it in the oven. It'll cook, child. It cook just fine. I'm just saying what I do. Y'all know, remember what I said, whatever I say on my channel, it's me, about me. My platform is about me to share with y'all, to discuss things with y'all that I've been through, that I'm dealing with, that I'm going through. Uh, yeah, that's that's about it. It's my platform, it's my channel, I can do what I want to do. So, I'm talking about me on my channel. I ain't here to discuss nobody else, I ain't here to judge nobody else, I'm not here for that. That's not what my platform is for. So, yeah. All right, y'all see how them eggs turning out so pretty and so fluffy? Mm, 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 mm. Yes, just toss them around. You don't need that high heat. Just kind of fold them over like that and they will cook. They will cook beautifully. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cooking these eggs. Y'all see me do it. I'm going to go ahead and finish fluffing these eggs, getting these eggs cooked up. And um, I just wanted to come and show you, if you're new to my channel, how I scramble my eggs. That's how I do it. And you see how they're all nice and fluffy and pretty. That's how your girl do it. So, um, I think I'm going to make a video one day just dedicated to me um, uh, scrambling my eggs. Well, you know, folding them, how I do. But, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. That's a good idea. But, anyway, let me finish these eggs and uh, get that bacon out so we can get these sandwiches together. I'll be back, y'all. Okay, guys, I almost... Forgot to come back and show y'all the food. I was ready to whip my sandwich up. So, yeah, y'all. <laughs> this is the finishing results. We got our bagels, our scrambled eggs. Y'all know I put the bacon in the oven. I uh, toasted the bagels and scrambled my eggs. Well, you know how I do my eggs. Anyway, scrambled eggs. And this is breakfast right here, y'all. Just go ahead and make your sandwich how you want to make it. If you want to make a sandwich, I don't know, y'all. I might switch it up. Just have me some bacon and egg and put a little jelly on my uh, bagel and eat it on nuts. So, all right y'all y'all seen me do it so you know i did it this is arika misha thank you so much for watching oh i forgot to give y'all that word of the day i know y'all ain't think i won't give y'all the word of the day i did almost forget but my spirit said you got to get a people the word of the day and the word of the day what god has been dealing with me on is that we have i have to i'm just gonna say me y'all know how i do so i don't need nobody getting offended so i'm gonna keep it here me uh God say, be careful what you do. That's what God been dealing with me on. Be careful what you do. Because your children, they feed off of you. My children feed off of me. So I got to be careful what I do. 
I can't be sitting out here depressed, oppressed, oppressed, and all that, all them presses, and all that, because I'm telling you, my children feed off of me. They feed off of my spirit. They just children. They still learning. They don't know what we know. So we got to be careful what we do. We got to be careful what we do. Because I'm telling you, we think our children don't know. Oh, they know. We try to hide stuff from them that, you know, we, we upset about something, we going through something, we dealing with something, and we try to hide it from our children because, you know, they're our kids. We don't need them in grown folks' business. But I ain't saying you got to sit there and discuss your business with your children. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just telling you, got to be careful. So, you know what I got to do? I got to stay strong. Got to keep my spirit, keep my faith high, keep myself strong. Even when I'm going through, you know what I'm saying? I got to keep myself together. So my kids don't feed off of what I'm going through. Oh, mom sad. Oh, she looking sad. She looking depressed. She looking this. She looking that. And feeding off of my energy. No, baby. I got to keep my spirit strong. Got to keep my energy strong. For my children's sake. Just giving y'all what God been dealing with me on. Keep your spirit strong. Keep yourself strong. Keep your mind strong. Keep your mind strong. Keep your spirit. Number one. Keep that strong. I'm just telling you what God been dealing with me on. And I've been working on it. All right, y'all. You seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge, oh, yeah, is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.